you, as parents, have learned a lot about not only living life with a prosthetic, but Aaliyah, you know this better than anyone. But you're not alone. We want you to believe you can do anything. We have just the person to show you. Her name is Taylor, and she, just like you, only a little bit older, is a professional dancer. Take a look. I've been dancing my whole life, you know, since I was little. Someone took me to a show, and the dancers just like amazed me because they were telling stories with their bodies. And that was really interesting to me and I wanted to do it. With Taylor's particular disorder, there's a decision to be made when they're quite young. So it's form or function. You can't have both and we went with function. I don't think that my prosthetic has affected the choices I've made in life really. I don't, I don't think that it's, it defines me in that way. If someone told me that I wasn't gonna be able to dance, I would have found a way around it because that's what I always do. I really hate it when people tell me no because I'm like, well, you're wrong, so I'll just do my best and that's what I do. So, would you like to meet Taylor? You're in luck because she's actually here. Okay. Taylor, come out here. to meet you. You're a gorgeous young woman Thank and you. I just want to let you know that your leg is something special and it's something that you should be proud of. Just because it's broken doesn't mean you are, you know? And it's like unicorns or mermaids even. They have something that's a little bit different than everyone else, but it's in the best possible way. I mean, how many other little girls do you know that can like turn their leg all the way around? <laughs> Yeah, and it's, you know, it's not always easy. I've been there. I remember when I was in elementary school and invited to pool parties and, you know, you have to decide whether or not to sit on the sidelines and watch everyone or take your leg off and jump in and maybe they'll stare, maybe they'll call you names, but it's something that you have to decide that it's not gonna let you limit you, you and anything you do and I know that you're already on the way. <laughs> so that's really awesome. And so much of this, and mom, dad, you've talked about how her prosthetic itself has held her back. And Taylor, I'm sure you know that having a prosthetic that fits your body as you're growing is really important, right? Definitely. I mean, I've been really fortunate with my prosthetics, but I've broken my fair share. I did competitive cheerleading, and I can't tell you how much duct tape I used <laughs> to keep my legs together, so I've been there, girlfriend. I've been there. <laughs> but Aaliyah, for you, you're a special, special someone, okay? And Shriners Hospital for Children has offered to work with you and your family to make sure that you have prosthetics until you're 18 years of age. We're going to hook you up with one so that you can run and do all of the things that you want to do. How's that sound? Does that sound pretty cool? Thank you so much. And because you like to sing and dance, Legacy Dance Studio in your hometown, they're gonna offer you free dance classes for 10 months. Whoa! <laughs> I also wanna thank Spirit Airlines for providing travel. Well, I also just wanna thank the two of you as Aaliyah's parents because clearly you're raising a wonderful wonderful child and Leah, all the things you're gonna do in this world, we're so excited for you. And good luck with everything. The singing, the dancing, the bike riding, the running. So thank, thank you for coming here today. Thank you. We're gonna let the two of you hang out a little bit backstage. How does that sound? So. You and me.